Hi everybody, my name is Paul Pratt and better known as Pollo Del Mar. I'm Pollo. I'm Pollo. No, I'm Pollo Del Mar. And for those in the know, that means chicken of the sea. Of course, there's been some interesting interpretations of my name and some terrible mispronunciations. I've been called Polo, that one's very common, Polyp, which is pretty disgusting, and my least favorite of all, polio. Hello, that's a deadly disease. When I first moved to San Francisco, I felt really lost. Before very long, I found myself really heavily involved in drugs. By 2004, I was basically homeless. I had checked myself into a rehab. It's the biggest accomplishment I've ever done in my life. When people come out to see me in the nightclubs and things like that, they see Poyo and she's wild and she's crazy. And, and when they find out that I can do all of that without drugs, all it amazes people. Sobriety is a personal decision, but I love being at events and parties where people are drinking and having a good time. I think that the key really is exactly what Absolute says. Drink responsibly. Even after coming out, I felt a little bit invisible in my own community, and drag has made me anything but invisible. If you guys take away my fast food and my connection to the internet, I could conceivably have a mental breakdown, which makes for excellent television. My biggest celebrity inspiration was Anna Nicole Smith. She's so beautiful and tragic. <clears throat> the kind of girl who you would see in a rock video in the 80s, the one who would like roll around on the hood of a firebird just showing you all kinds of chest. Oh, it's all about that. Breasts, breasts. Yes, this is not a breastplate. It's all natural goodness. One of those skanks who's on like the rock of love. Pam Anderson meets Anna Nicole Smith meets the chick next door in the trailer park. Those are the girls that I always wanted to be like, and those are the ones I always was like, fascinated by growing up. And quite honestly, now that's exactly what I get to live like. In addition to performance, Poyo has a political side to her that I haven't seen in a lot of the girls on RuPaul's Drag Race, which is another reason why I think that I'd be a valuable addition. Prop 8 happened and I became so furious. My drag turned from just being something in the nightclubs to being something in the streets. This is the bubble that many of us live in every yeah. single day. Yeah. But, the, but the problem with living inside a bubble is that bubbles break. That night changed my life. For me, drag and that kind of political movement are forever tied. That is the power of drag. Drag isn't for me about being able to do a death drop on a stage. That, of course, is an element of drag, and that's what other people's strong suit is. That's not my strong suit. My strong suit is the ability to use Poyo Del Mar to get people motivated, to make people take action. Some people call me the queen of San Francisco media, and I'm pretty comfortable with that. Other people call me the notorious PDM, and others call me the Glamazon. RuPaul's finally given me a theme song available on iTunes in the middle of one of these Prop 8 rallies, and it occurred to me in that moment that I was being such a huge hypocrite because my dad didn't know uh, that I was gay. So I promised all these people around me that if they stayed with me overnight at a sit-in, that the next day I would come out to my dad. And um, they stayed with me, and they waited while I made that phone call. So I told him that I was gay. I did not tell him that at that moment I was dressed like She-Ra, okay? I wanted to um, be honest, but I didn't want to kill the guy. He doesn't know about my drag career at all yet. I had a conversation with him recently, and I said, Dad, you should have, you had to have known from a very early age that I was gay because I was obsessed with Wonder Woman. I was obsessed with Linda Carter. And my dad has this really deep accent. And he says, Bubby, I should have known there was something unusual. It's just not normal for a four year old boy to carry a two and a half foot tall Miss Piggy doll every damn where he goes. As an adult, I get to live my dreams, and I recently met Linda Carter, dressed as Wonder Woman. And one of my favorite numbers that I do is me, dressed as Miss Piggy. So, there you have it. Living the dream. <laughs> no! Absolutely not. This closet is not meant for national television. I'm sorry. We have to go.
welcome back to Gay Club TV. We're at Paramount's Great America for Gay Day 2010. Let's go out and see what's going on in the crowd and have some fun. San Francisco, vouch for me on this one. For two years, I cheered with Cheer San Francisco. Poyo, Poyo was the best cheerleader of all. Sans drag. It was before it, drag. It was before drag, but you know what? We love Poyo now. Mwah! watching this show, this live show, this live show about the lesbian lovers of Miami. <laughs> personality and I have more personality than any of the other bitches in town some people love me for it some people hate me for it but what am I gonna do right what I plan to do is take it with me on RuPaul's Drag Race season 4 representing San Francisco Poyo Del Mar Queen of San Francisco media kicking ass and taking names 
on Logo Television.